Hey, Flurbert. Sana here. So, you want to make a fireworks show, or actually you want to, like, use a blueprint in your sequencer. That's really hard, so I was told. But actually, it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let me let me show you how it's done. Um, first, you want to like obviously create a level sequence. Create a level sequence and give it a name. It doesn't really matter what you name. But just just type type in something something that makes sense for you, and then grab your firework or any blueprint actually uh, that you want to use and uh, yoink it in. Create it. Make it a spawnable. That's really important. Um, and then, and then what you want to do is create a trigger. That's a trigger track for you. And then like, no, not that, this, move it up, up like to, to the point where you want to start launching your fireworks and create a keyframe, select the keyframe and then you want to make an endpoint that's over here. Like endpoint, create endpoint. Yeah. So here, this is what, what opens up automatically. And here you basically want to um, trigger like the thing that makes your, that makes your uh, blueprint go, um, yeah. Um, let me show you like inside of the blueprint I use. You can either look it up or like just open it up like this. This this thingy is what makes the fireworks go boom. So, uh, oh, by the way, this is the firework uh, pack that I'm using. It was in the permanently free, but it's no longer available, which is really a shame because I think this is a really cool package. Epic Games, please fix. Anyway, um, so you added it and now nothing happens and you hit play and nothing happens. And 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 now, now you're getting, um, yeah. The stressed, don't worry, don't worry. It's, this this will work, trust me. Uh, first, you have, you have to set up one more thing and that's the camera position. So find yourself a camera position and yoink in a camera. And then adjust, um, adjust like the focal length. So it's, um, yeah, the way you want it. I want to, yeah, maybe a, a size 10. That's, that will do for me. And then you want to like check out, does this give me like the basic thing I want to show? No, to me, it's way much to the right. So what we do, select the camera, rotate it a bit, and uh, save, and then render and render it out again. And yeah, oh, oh th th this looks way better. This, yeah, this looks perfect actually. This is ex exactly what I wanted. You can fiddle around with, with like these settings and like keep rendering um, using like this render technique. Uh, it's uh, really quick and um, yeah, it's a, an effective workflow, I think. Then uh, what I now do is like I add a couple of more trigger points and these trigger points will basically just trigger whatever the hell you want to trigger so i will launch like a couple of fireworks here and one more here and one more here yeah that's fine um let's check it out one more time if i'm happy with this and after i'm happy with this yeah look oh man this looks really cool it's just like real fireworks um you want to use the movie render queue but i don't have a movie render queue Oh, relax. Just go to um, the plugins and then movie render queue like that. Don't hit that one. No, nope. hit this one. Yes. And now restart your engine. Um, and then um, here you have it. Uh, where is it? Like over here, movie render queue. You can click it and um, add your sequence and do some like setup. Like make this, it's like default is, is um, 1080p. And if you just make the times two, then it's it's like full uh, 4K. Um, and make it PNG. I can make like uh, an extra tutorial about like 
the, the, the proper settings that you want to use. You want to use like anti-aliasing, but not anti-aliasing. And then you want to have like spatial count samples, things, stuff like that. But that's for another video. That's for another video, guys. Um, and then you hit render remote and quit the editor as soon as you hit the button because this this will um, eat all your resources if you have a, a heavy scene. It's not a heavy scene like this, but I, I assume you want to make like a nice scene where you want to play with your fireworks. And this is uh, this is it. And now you have to like wait until you uh, are weighing an ounce. That's that's a Dutch saying. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, if you like uh, this video, uh, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like, hit the thumbs down. And tell me why you didn't like it, because uh, I deserve that. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, that that really helps with the algorithm. Juice, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Fleurbert. Out. Bye.